Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today, we have a captivating story that has baffled Japan for decades. It's the mysterious disappearance of four year old Shinya Matsuoka. On March 7, 1989, in the quiet town of Sadamitsu in Tokushima Prefecture, a chilling event unfolded. Four year old Shinya Matsuoka disappeared in just 40 seconds. But to truly understand this mystery, we need to go back two days. The Matsuoka family lived in Yushiku City, Ibaraki Prefecture. Shinya's father, Masanobu, worked as a software engineer. In addition to his diligent wife, there were a seven-year-old daughter, a four-year-old son, and a two-year-old younger son in the family. However, tragedy struck when Keiko, Masanobu's wife, received news of her mother's sudden death. The family rushed back to Tokushima for the funeral and they decided to stay overnight at Kiko's relative's house in the mountainous area. Around 8 a.m. the next morning, Masanobu took his three children for a walk. The relative's house was located at the end of a forest road in the mountainous area, at an altitude of about 200 meters, with beautiful scenery and no other houses around. As they had to return for breakfast, they didn't walk far and turned back soon. When they reached the doorstep, four-year-old Shinya expressed his desire to play outside a little longer. Masanobu allowed him to wait and took the younger son into the house first. When he turned around and went back to the yard, Shinya was nowhere to be found. Only 40 seconds had passed since he entered the house. Masanobu searched everywhere but couldn't find Shinya. Panicked, they had to quickly call the police. The police took the matter seriously, mobilizing over 100 people, including prefectural police and firefighters, to conduct a grid search within two kilometers around the relative's house, but to no avail. On the second day of Shinya's disappearance, the police mobilized over 200 people, expanding the search area, but still found no trace of him. Adding to the mystery, the relatives received a mysterious phone call. Mrs. Matsuoka, hello. I am the parent representative of the kindergarten. We have collected a condolence fund for you. I'm sorry to disturb you at this time, but I would like to confirm where to send the money. Kindergarten? Is it Saisei Kindergarten? The kindergarten Shinya attended. Yes, that's right. Is your child also in the moon class? Yes, yes, I'm Mariko Nakahara's mother. Mrs. Nakahara, thank you so much. We are returning to Ibaraki tomorrow. Could you please send it to our house? That's great. I will deliver the condolence fund. After returning to Ibaraki, Keiko contacted the kindergarten to inquire about the donation, only to find out that the kindergarten knew nothing about it, and there was no student named Mariko Nakahara in the moon class. To search for Shinya, Masanobu quit his job, starting his own efforts to have more time to find his son. He appeared on TV more than 50 times, asking for information and publicizing his family's phone number. 1996. A TV program brought in a psychic to use supernatural powers to find Shinya. But the psychic only vaguely claimed that Shinya was still alive, with no specific location. Until 2018, a Japanese TV program called, Emergency. Big Search. Featured a young man who closely resembled Shinya Matsuoka. He was found in a department store in Aichi Prefecture and appeared to be malnourished. After the program aired, many viewers believed that the man was Shinya Matsuoka. However, Further DNA testing by the police revealed that he was not Shinya Matsuoka. To this day, the disappearance of Shinya Matsuoka remains a mystery. Some say he disappeared voluntarily. Others say he was kept captive. And there are even theories that he was kidnapped to North Korea. The truth remains unknown. If you have any information or thoughts on this case, please share them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more riveting mysteries. Until next time, stay curious.